Hi, welcome guys back to Global Scale Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Gmail bypass on a tablet, a Samsung tablet. So let's start. And these are the items that we need a tablet, Wi Fi connection, and we need a wireless headset, either like Bluetooth or Wi Fi. Well, most of the time it's Bluetooth. So that's the two uh, tools that we need. So we're gonna do like we're gonna type right here and then we're gonna click on the option and here we're gonna go all the way to help as you can see is on the top click on help this is just accept so click on help and the next option we're gonna try to connect it with the with the headset so at this moment I'm gonna go to mine I'm just gonna press the power button so it turns on there you go the light is on indicating that the Bluetooth is on and it's ready for connection in this case I'm just gonna go here to Bluetooth and start now and then if it's on there you go it's gonna turn on and you will see the list of all the devices nearby so you're gonna choose the this is the one I have it's BT513 if you guys have a different name just select the device that you have on on my case I'm just gonna click now it's pairing it's connected good so at this moment this device is working so what we have to do So what we have to do after the device is connected, we're gonna press the power button right here. As you can see on my device, you guys may have the same one, just click on it. And it's like it's gonna give a command to the tablet to, to talk. So uh, as you can see, I'm gonna click. There you go. And the tablet is saying is listening. So now we have to say Chrome, like, you know, Internet Explorer. So. All done. I'm just gonna redo it again. Click on the, the power. Chrome. There you go. It takes us to the internet. Okay. So what we do? We click on the talk back talk button right here, and then we say Chrome. So and then once Chrome is open up like this you just click on it and then the list will show up like this and then you click on chrome right here i tried this one about three or four times it did not work so i had to restart my tablet but i can just show it to you guys i'm gonna try it again but if it did not go through then we will have to reset the restart the tablet so let's do it for you guys you can see so we click on the talk button right here Chrome and then as you can see here what we're, we're, uh, we're gonna click and there you go so it's working so click on Chrome so take us to a new browser we're gonna click accept and continue no thanks so we're not gonna sign in at this time we're just gonna go no thanks and then we go to google.com so type google.com and to get chrome is a tricky part like i said guys so if you cannot get it just restart your tablet disconnect your bluetooth or can reconnect it again and then just start say chrome and then it should give you that option so google.com once you're on google.com you just go right here and you type samsung galaxy apps exactly as how it shows right here samsung galaxy apps i'm gonna type this link on the description so you guys can type it if you need it and then you click search and we go to on my case it's the first website but if it's different for you guys just go to this one it says samsung slash l-e-v-a-n-t levant mobile galaxy apps click on it And then we go to this tab right here. It says Samsung Galaxy Apps. Click on it. 
I have read agree to all terms and conditions so we have to check this box and click start personally do you want to receive notification about the new extension okay then we're gonna say yes and right here we're gonna type on the search bar we're gonna type es file explorer On this case, you're gonna ask us to put the email associated with this account. On my case, I do have an email. If you guys don't have an email, you can just go right here, create an account. If you do have another device and you just wanna do it from another device, you can do it as well. So on my case, I'm just gonna type my email. Um, give me one second because I just, yeah, I don't wanna put the password in the camera. So I'm just gonna type my email password. And before I click sign in, I'm just gonna put you on, on live. There we go. Okay, so I put my email and password. And as I said, if you don't have an email, you can just create one. So click on sign in. Oh, invalid. Oh yeah, I forgot right here. Hotmail.com. Here you go. Now we're gonna click on sign in. Okay, so I just put the right password. I forgot my password and email. So once you click on sign in, it's gonna be loaded like that. Okay, so accept and download. As you can see right here, it's loading. Okay, it's still loading. There you go, so it's all on now. Okay, so when it's ES file export open up, we're just gonna go all the way here on the corner left, click on it. Here you're gonna see favorite, click on add, and then add to favorite. We're gonna put this link right here, HTTP. Okay, so HTTP column forward slash forward slash. I'm gonna go back to V N R O M dot net dot net. We're gonna go big forward slash bypass. And here you can type in your name. In my case, I'm just gonna put bypass. Click on add. And as you can see on the bottom, bookmark bypass, it's already uh, add to the favorite. Gonna click again, and this time we're gonna see it, it's already saved up right here for under the name that you guys choose. So we're gonna click on that one. It's loading now. Okay, so when it's opened, we're gonna go to Android 6 underscore gam dot apk, click on it. And as you can see, it's already loading. Okay, so we're not gonna open it. Just gonna click on the blank and then go back again to FRP underscore bypass. We're gonna click on that one. And it's loading as well. Now we're loading basically the tools that we're gonna need to bypass the Gmail account. So we're gonna open file. Hold on. Okay. So now we're gonna go back to click on the top left corner of the tablet. And then we're gonna go back to
Okay, so I already put my password. I'm just gonna click sign in. Okay, so what we have to do now? Okay, so now what we have to do is just reset, restart your tablet. Push the power button for three seconds. Click on restart. And as, as, as I said, this method can work on many tablets, many Samsung tablets. As long as you follow the same options, same uh, instruction, and then just try to have, you need to have the Bluetooth headphone. Well, actually it's a headphone and speaker as well. You have to, be, to include the speaker so you can talk. So now we're just gonna go choose the language start already saved up we go next go next agree checking for connection Software update, go next. Okay, so we're gonna click next. If you wanna put your own password, you don't have to skip. Skip anyway. That's if you wanna restore it don't have to at least if you want guys you can do that so in my case I'm just gonna click don't restore go next okay on this one I'm just gonna do connect your all device and that's if you want to get your stuff back we're just gonna click skip skip and next later There you go, we are on the home page finally. So now what we have to do, this is the last step guys. Go to the settings. And then what we have to do now, we're just gonna go and do the hard reset. Right here, go to factory data reset, click on it. Reset device, as you can see I put the, this is the Samsung account email and then the Gmail. So I'm just gonna click reset the device, delete all. But then remember the Samsung account that we put, they're gonna ask for a password. So remember that you're gonna have a password. I'm just gonna put mine. Okay, so after you put the password, click on confirm. There you go, now the tablet will reset and your tablet will be like brand new again. It's not gonna have no Gmail account or nothing. Okay, so once the phone turn on, all you have to do is just go next. Connect to your Wi-Fi again. And click connect.
next agree okay so now once you go to the gmail account it give you the option to skip click on skip there you go so no more gmail password so i'm just gonna click right here i'm gonna put no password skip skip anyway scroll down next next skip next later skip there you go so now your tablet is back to life thank you guys for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel global skills if you like the videos give us a thumbs up that helps us a lot if you have any question leave us the in the section below in the comments section and always a thumbs up because we see like a lot of people they watch the video but we don't get a lot of likes so please anytime you watch the video you like it please give a thumbs up we we will we work hard for those videos to you know to send them to you guys so thank you and see you soon